How's it going, man? It's Doc Farhan. Today's video is all about meditation. I'm here in this beautiful park in Kyiv, Ukraine. I came out here to record this video for you. Now, most people don't meditate. Um, I remember many, many years that I didn't meditate. I do now, but I remember it was tough, especially when I first started after not doing it for so long. And I want to tell you what happens in the brain when you meditate. I want to tell you about the neuroscience of it. I want to tell you benefits that you're not even aware of. I bet you're not aware of these and exactly the mechanisms inside the brain. What is happening when you sit there and without delving into thoughts all the time? Look, man, in our everyday world, there's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of noise. And I want to make this video for you because I want to help you take yourself away from that noise. I want you to be successful. I want you to be rich. I want you to be striving for your goals and dreams. And so I'm going to motivate you a little bit in this video, why you should meditate. Get into a little bit of the instruction of what you should exactly do for the next 30 days. And then obviously the benefits and tell you things you don't know. So let's get started. First, Meditation will increase your testosterone. There, I said it. Now, let me prove it to you. The number one killer of testosterone is estrogen. We know that. The number two killer, and sometimes it's very close to that number one killer, estrogen, is cortisol. Cortisol is right up there as one of the top killers of testosterone levels. So when cortisol rises, when your stress rises, your testosterone goes down. And when your stress goes down, your cortisol goes down, your testosterone goes up. Obviously, it makes sense. So this anxiety you have day to day, your fears, your just day to day failures that happen and it brings you down. It could be anything. It could be a lack of confidence. It could be loneliness. It could be poor sex drive or poor erection quality. Anything that has to do with testosterone, which is pretty much anything that has to do with manliness and manhood and our masculinity. You want to establish this habit of meditation because that will spike up your testosterone. And if you establish this habit for a long time, then your testosterone will continue to rise and your stress will continue to go down and your cortisol go down. But it's not just about testosterone. Meditation is about focus. So if you talk to Bill Gates, you talk to Warren Buffett, they'll tell you focus is the number one key to success. You know, you want to become rich, you want to become successful, you need to master something. You need to be so good at something that everyone wants you for it. No one else is good enough. And focus is going to get you there and meditation will give you that focus. Now, how does Meditation actually do that. What is happening in the brain? What's the neuroscience of it? So when you read the literature, a lot of the studies have been done by the University of Wisconsin-Madison. What they've done is they bring in Buddhist monks. They still do it. They've been doing it for 20 years, 25 years. They bring in Buddhist monks. They put them in an fMRI scanner. And they say, meditate. And these Buddhist monks meditate. And the scanner looks at their activity in the brain, all over the brain, and tries to see what areas activate, what areas deactivate or inactivate. And this is what they find. There's an area in the parietal cortex that helps us separate our environment from who we are. So as you walk around, there's a tree, there's a grass, there's a water fountain, there's a camera I'm looking at. These are all different from my body. That area in the brain encodes for that. It tells me that I'm different from my environment. When these Buddhist monks went in the scanner, that area of the brain slowed down. It inactivated. And the researchers hypothesized that when we meditate, we become one with the environment. Right? You can imagine you walking around. How focused you would be if everything was one, a lot of the focus we lose because we have these judgments, we, 
we see things in the environment that are different from us. So we question them. Like, why is this happening? Why did he do that? Why did she do that? But with meditation, that area of the brain is going to slow down. It's going to inactivate. And you will be able to get that focus and get that decrease in cortisol levels and that rise in testosterone. And if you're into spirituality, then you know, being one with nature, for example, is something that you strive for in your path to going higher and higher in your spiritual consciousness. And that's going to help you with that too. Now, how do you get into this habit? It's not easy. When I didn't do meditation for a long time, it was really hard for me. And I'll tell you what helped me a lot. The habit formation, you know, doing it for 30 straight days is something that you should not take lightly. When you first start doing something, it's like establishing a muscle in your body, like strengthening a muscle. You go to the gym, you're, you're doing pull-ups or you're doing squats, deadlifts. To get that strength, the, the gains, it takes time. You're not going to see uh, your belly go away in three days. You're not going to see uh, big muscles in a few days. No, it's going to take a while. So initially, that, that, that tough phase, that difficult phase, is hard to overcome. It's hard to, it, it gets really overwhelming. So the way I found this to work for me, to make it easy for me, simple for me, is accountability. So in the Aphrodite Academy, we do these challenges every month. So right now we have a meditation challenge. And, you know, it's tough. Every day I'm waking up at 3.45 a.m. and 4 to 5, I do a one-hour meditation. Now, that's just for me because I'm at an advanced level. A lot of the other guys, they're just doing 20-minute meditations or 10-minute meditations. So one of our guys is going to a Vipassana retreat and doing a 10-day meditation there. You know, 10-day retreat, and that's a crazy one. I've done it, and I know it's crazy. Um, some guys do one-hour meditations, but not 4 to 5 a.m. They just do it during the day when they can. And so when we post these pre-meditation selfies, post-meditation selfies every single day, and we get the comments, the likes, the, the, the support, the love from the other Aphrodite Academy members, we thrive. We are able to accomplish these goals. And we've seen this for many, many months. Because every month there's a challenge, there's a new habit that we all form together as a community, as a family, as a tribe. And that accountability has been a game changer for me, man. So if you're looking to become consistent in meditation, doing those 20 minutes every day you know, for 30 straight days, I highly, highly encourage you, get your Afro D and you join the Afro D Academy today. The link is below. Click on that blink, blink, click on that link and you're going to find all the information you need about the Aphrodite Academy, what Aphrodite is on that website. You can watch YouTube videos, you can watch my videos here, you can listen to TED Talks, you can listen to your colleagues and friends doing meditation and the benefits, blah, 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 but it doesn't mean anything. It's garbage. What really means something is when you go do the action, you become the actions you take. Actions are everything, and that's what we're all about, man. So just do that every day. Sit there, 20 minutes, if thoughts come into your head, it's okay. You don't have to say anything, do anything. If you want to follow your breath, you can. But it's just sitting still for 20 minutes every day. And along those 30 days, you're going to establish that muscle, you're going to strengthen that muscle, and then you're going to have the habit forever. So I wish you good luck on your journey, man, um, towards meditation, towards focus, towards becoming wealthy and successful and uh, achieving your dreams. Ciao, bro.